Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with a quick tip for you. So let's say you have a website or you're making a website for a client and that client or you want to have to start making money from your site. One of the best ways to make money from your site is to have a membership area. But let's say you or that client doesn't want to go through all the difficult ways of doing PHP and all that other stuff. Um, here's a really cool way um, a pretty simple way to make a um, a subscription area for your site. So, for example, here we have this person site has an option for all kinds of subscription areas. And the way I set it up is I set up a Stripe and I used a Jot form area that includes a Stripe credit card area. And that's how this client receives his or her payment. Now, once they have their payment, this person has access to their blog, which is how they give them the special membership area. So if I were to click on blog right now, it says that this blog is for invite, invited readers only. So that's a great way to set it up so where you can have a, um, a membership area. Google does all the hard li heavy lifting for you. And when it comes to receiving the payments, Stripe and Jotform do all the heavy lifting for you. Real simple. If you want a separate video on how to set up a jot form or how to set up Stripe, just let me know and I'll make a new video. But back to the matter at hand. Um, so you want to make a membership site using Blogger. So the best way to do that is to have a member area. So what we did here was we basically made it so that this site is private. The site is only open to uh a few readers. So for example, in this case, um, this is on my incognito tab. So I'm not logged in at all. So that's why I can't get into the blog. But let's say I went ahead and I paid. So all the person has to do, the administrator has to do is log into their blogger, go down past all this to the settings, go to basic and go to the bottom of basic and you'll have the information you need. So we're going to add a reader. The reader that we're going to add is this RSMATTH test. And then we say save changes. Okay. Now what you'll see is that there's one open invitation. So I should go to my email and see the invitation. So here's the invitation on my email inbox. Once I click on it, I can see that it's an accepted invitation. Okay. Once I click on the accepted invitation, it brings me to the portal and it says to verify who am I uh, accepting. And it gives me, uh, it looks like about a, a month to sign in. Okay. So once you're all set up, you can go ahead and click on it. And even if I X out, once I even if I refresh here, once I click on blog, as long as I'm signed in, I can access the, the blogger blog. So once again, as you can see, I set up my blogger to look identical to my actual site. So they know that they haven't left my blogger. If you need any details on how to, or a tutorial on how I made this look exactly like my site, um, please let me know and comment below and I'll be more than happy to make a video on that. So now they have access to these newsletters page. As you can see, the newsletter page doesn't come up on my regular home page because that's only for members. So you can definitely make a members only area for your members. Um, obviously they can go through and see the blog or if you have any special information, um, I put this featured video and all that in here. Okay. So, Let's say that uh, this client stops paying or decides to no longer be part of your membership. Take them off your membership is just as easy. So what you do is the administrator, you tell the administrator, well, this client, this person has stopped paying. Let's refresh this real quick. Okay, now you have me on this list here. So it's really simple to take away any members. All you do is click on this X. 
and now the person is no longer uh, a member. And to verify, let's say the person has this uh, page up still. If they were to refresh the page, they instantly see that this blog is no longer available. But let's say the person saved their acceptance email. If they click on accept invitation, it says this invitation is no longer valid. So you can easily uh, take people off the membership list and then add them on the membership list after they've started to pay. And, uh, and just like that, you have a nice membership site and people will pay you automatically through Stripe. You can have it have uh, automatic um, come up quarterly. You can have it come up monthly. You can have it even come up yearly. Or you can get, have them donate. And it would automatically, uh, once they press subscribe, um, it will automatically take uh, the $9.99, for example, in this case, every month. And you'll be no worse for wear. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Have a wonderful day.